Hello, once again. Um, let's talk about iris, interval, intensity, and illumination as far as what could help you understand how to improve your skills in professional photography. By the way, there's nothing better on camera gear than salty sea air and sand. It is so excellent on camera gear. There's nothing like turning a lens and hearing that grind of sand. Um, one thing I should have mentioned in the prior video that, to me at least, defines uh, a professional uh, DSLR from an advanced amateur DSLR. Is it made in Asia, Southeast Asia, or is it made in Japan? <laughs> that actually should, that's not going to find on Icon's website. But to me, that is actually one of the key defining things that defines professional uh, DSLR versus uh, advanced amateur DSLR, and that is made in Japan versus made in Southeast Asia. Sorry, Southeast Asia. <laughs> um, it's certainly not FX or DX, and it isn't necessit necessitatively, you know, a longer shutter assembly, which is $600 to replace. But anything definitely above an Icon D3000 or D5000. Iris, interval, intensity, and illumination. These are the four eyes. You got two here, you need four more, and the other four are between your ears. So you're going to have to start thinking. Now, I mentioned this before, but it was incomplete. I was going to go further into it. I wasn't necessarily going to make this video here on the beach. I'm on Cinnabel Island. You see the lighthouse behind me. Iris, interval, intensity, illumination. Iris, your aperture on your camera. How does it affect your depth of field, ultimately your composition? Remember, the two things that define a professional photographer is an expert in light manipulation and composition. Interval, shutter speed. How is that going to affect things? Your camera is a time machine. If you slow down and you get uh, start using your strobe, your speed light, how is that going to affect? Rear, cut, rear, shirt, rear curtain sink, front curtain sink, um, layering your light, iris, interval, intensity. What sort of intensity do you want? Raising, dropping your ISO, ISO. If you're doing a time lapse photography or sticking a neutral density filter on your lens, there's a thousand different ways to control the interval. Like the Nikon D750. I mean, even crank down to ISO 100 on a super bright day like this. A lot of times, uh, if I want to uh, open up my aperture and get a shallow depth of field, four thousandth of a second, which is what it maxes out at, is not uh, fast enough. So you have to look for other options. Iris, interval, intensity, illumination. Your other, your fourth eye. You got six total, okay? Two here, obviously, but four more. Iris, interval, intensity, illumination. Illumination. Like I said, one of the key things that defines professional photographer, I know I'm repeating myself, is repetition is important in this case if you want to learn what photography is. Because it's more important than anything you're going to read in a photography magazine or an online course. More and more important. You've got to write these down, these four eyes. Illumination. What sort of illumination? Angle of illumination. Right now it is uh, approaching 4 o'clock. Daylight saving time is in effect. Technically it's 5 o'clock. It's November. In about another hour, I have totally different illumination than I'm going to have at 12 o'clock. Okay? The general rule of photography is if you have more photography, it's going to be between 10 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. Depending on where you're at in the world, the light is crap. It's shit. Okay? That's why all photographers either get up early in the morning to do the work or late in the evening. Late in the evening is better light, usually, typically. Most of us are lazy SOBs. So, iris, your aperture. Interval, shutter speed. Intensity. Okay, you're going to have to start using indie filters, changing your ISO. What you, do you need to do to get the compositional effect that you want? And the illumination, the angle of illumination, the layers of illumination, the speed light use, fill flash. Okay, all of these four things, including your two eyes. If you're only seeing with your two eyeballs, you're doing is taking amateur photo. Oh, that's a nice picture. Click. You know, that's interesting. I like the click. Well, you've got four more eyes here, and this is what defines you from a professional photographer is those four other eyes at whatever level or magnitude that they are or are not employed. Usually somebody is kind of really good at one, but kind of crappy at the other two or three. But if you start improving your skills on those other four, you're able to put the pieces together very, very quickly in your head. And by doing that, you're going to have to fail. You're going to have to be a control, three, control freak, throw your camera into manual, um, preferably stick your lens also in manual focus, you have to be a control freak. You're going to have to fail. But that failure is going to breed success in a very, very short period of time. So remember, you got six eyes to think about. The two that are planted in your peepers, in front of your skull. Okay? Iris. Interval. Intensity and illumination. If you concentrate on those four other eyes that are located between your ears, 
and not right here, then your photography is going to improve. And you're going to have to fail. By failure, I mean you're going to have to be a control freak. Okay? If you're going to be trying to improve your photography, you're going to have to get out of puss mode. You have to throw your camera at least in after priority or shutter priority. If you do sports, who cares? Throw it in program mode. Plenty of times you're going to shoot a, a crazy animal that's darting around all over the, ca the place. Fine. Throw it into program mode. Who gives a damn? It's there for a reason. But don't rely on it as a crutch. Oh, well, I got an expensive Nikon DSLR. It's got 10,000 autofocus points. And, you know, it's got... Ma Screw that! Most expensive camera in the world is a stupid piece of shat. Every single one. Doesn't matter how expensive it is, they're all stupid. They want to turn everything into gray sludge, and they want a meter for sludge. And they have no idea what composition is. Throw it in a matrix metering, it's going to try to even everything out and cut the mean difference between your highlights and your shadows, and you're going to end up with slip. Oh, that isn't what I wanted. That's right, it's because you relied on your stupid ass camera, which doesn't know a damn thing. Your camera doesn't know shit about what to do in taking a picture. Doesn't matter how advanced it is, doesn't matter how expensive it is. So remember those four other eyes that are located between your ears that aren't up here iris, interval, intensity, and illumination. Okay, thanks. It is that simple. Why don't they teach this stuff in photography school? Why don't you read about it in photography magazines? Because people are stupid. Dumb. Dumb. <laughs> Time to take photographs. Woohoo! The light is getting right.